Hi everyone, Dennis Cortez here. Today's video is a quick little video going over some updates that Figma pushed to their styles today that I think are actually really helpful, especially as someone who deals with styles a lot. And as someone who has made many design systems and wanted something like this before, I think it's super important that you know about this. So just wanted to go over it really quick. So let's get right into Figma. So here I have an example of a little bit of the design system that we have at Mothership at my full-time job. And I wanted to use this as an example today to show the style updates. As you'll see on your right panel, when you click typography, you still have the UI here showing you the name that you gave this text size and this text style. For my design system, I named this heading slash large. So everything looks the same there, the same for the color as you'll see. I named this primary white, gave it a little hex code at the end, so you'll see that as well. But what you'll see that's different is when I go into my styles, I actually have this nice little new design pattern where I'm actually able to search instantly. So for example, I can search accent, and we have our accent colors pop up. You can also search muted, see our secondary muted colors pop up. And what's really cool about this is I actually like to use descriptions with my design systems. So I'll be pretty descriptive about this saying, hey, on light UI, we're gonna use this on these. For dark UI, we're gonna use it for here. So the update here is that I can search for these descriptions in this new styles UI, which is really helpful when you have a lot of colors that come into play and you forget what you need for each one. So for example, if I search border, you'll see my border elements actually come up. So I have, for this one, light UI, it uses the border. For this one, it's a border hover. And then on dark UI, it's a border as well. Another update that you'll see in this styles UI panel is you can actually toggle between showing as a list or showing as a grid. So normally they had the grid version. So honestly, for right now, I'm probably gonna keep this one just because I'm used to it. But you can toggle between the list if that's a bit more useful to you. The list is nice because you can see the actual names up front rather than having to hover over a color, wait a couple seconds and see the actual name pop up. So I would play with which one is right for you. But like I said, I'm gonna keep grid for now. So another nice update that they added that's actually specific to typography so if you click on your type, you do a drop down here, you still get the same UI that you have on colors where you can search. But a nice little extra thing that you get here is you actually see the information for the type without having to actually click into it. So for this large type, for example, I can see that this is a size 40 and it has 48 letting. Because before this is actually a big pain point for me is if I was working on a UI and I wanted to check the sizing that I was using on something, but I couldn't use the exact same text style, I would actually have to come in here, detach this, then go, okay, this is size 40. I see that it's 48 letting. Now let me undo that and go back to normal. So overall, this is a nice little update. I think it's gonna help a lot for people that are working a lot in design systems, especially product designers. Big thanks to the Figma team for this. I think this is gonna go a long way. With Figma, I actually really like the little updates that they come out with rather than waiting for a huge update at once. It's nice to get these little updates that streamline my workflow. I find a lot of these little updates are super helpful. I hope this video was informative. Hope it helps you out. Hope you enjoy the new features. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think that they can improve it even more. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll be make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Figma videos. I make a ton almost every week. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Figma videos and tutorials. I do a ton of videos. I upload almost twice a week. Oh my God. Oh my God. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some more Figma tutorials. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some more Figma tutorials. I upload at least once a week. This is actually an extra video for this week, so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one.